this courtroom, which is crazy. That's why, even though he's kind of a burnout, he's doing us a favor by being here with us. The judge is gonna see him, and he's gonna say, it's almost like a subtle nod. Eight years! What, eight years?! Dude, he's like 23, he's not eight, you stupid judge, dude, stupid. Court adjourned. Hey, your Honor, this is my first case, okay? If you do this to me, I'm gonna be moving back in with my mother, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm messing up. There he is. I got my steam panel, first of all, my brother in the game, man. Big Ja, what's going on, Ja? What do though, man? What's up, man? I'm happy to be here, man. We in this Young piece. Shin. We in this piece. Craig this. Facts, man. God, God, God. Our DJ, man. Not only a DJ, uh, 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 a damn Grammy Award winning producer. Hey. 1500 or nothing. He's worked yes, with sir. everybody from P. Diddy to Nipsey Hussle. Yeah. I mean, it ain't nobody he ain't worked with. He even right. worked with... Uh, Nigga work with who, who's somebody that niggas uh, <laughs> you'd never think a nigga work with. I'll turn the oh, fan She on. bangs, she bangs. That can, nigga. Can you hear the fan? William Hong. You fuck with that nigga too, man. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. The, the nigga, the nigga work with uh, Queen everybody. Elizabeth's little brother, <laughs> <laughs> Nathaniel. Nathaniel. <laughs> <laughs> Father MC. He Nathan, work with Father Nathan, MC. That's in York, <laughs> nigga. Where, where the York candies come from? Yeah. He went to York and, and uh, with him, it, nigga. It, it did some yeah. music in the chocolate factory, man. My, my guy Mars, man. Give it up for Mars. Boy, man. Boy. Hey. Yeah. Now, as y'all know with the morning show, man, uh, you know, I, I fuck with self-made legends, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I got another self-made legend in the house. I remember when he came to, well, I don't remember when he came to Cali, but I remember when I became aware of him. Yep. You know what I'm saying? A big bro in the game, mm -hmm. a dope director, a great writer, Jay Horn. Yeah, uh, yeah, hey, yeah. What's hey, going hey, on, boy? Hey, man, I appreciate that, man. We on the facts, baby. We on the facts, God, 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 God. Part of, this, God. part of this show is we talk to the people, man. So as y'all as y'all know, the phone lines will open up soon here after we introduce a topic. And just in case you don't know, the number is 818-925-0273. Can we get that overlay up there with the phone number? Again, the number is 818-925-0273. Did we yeah. get connected on the Google Voice and everything? Yeah, let's get connected. It's some it's some crazy shit happening in the news, man. Y'all see what's going on with Tiffany Haddish? Oh, Not, oh. oh. Hey, is that real? Is Man. that real news? What is happened? Real news? So, Tell me. So I guess apparently they did a sketch back in 2007, Damn. her and Ari Spears. I seen it. Okay. Okay, you remember that sketch? It was suspect. I remember when I saw it, I was like, Ugh. I, I, Yeah. Oh, well, 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 what? Okay. I didn't see it. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a parody. It's a parody like to a, what? It's it's basically a, a, a sketch about, how do I explain it? It's about a pedophile. Who, oh, who was trying it's, a, to, it's a comedy, you know what I'm saying? With it's, Ari Spears? With Ari Spears. So what happened was there was two kids who weren't even weren't even in the custody of, of, of their parents. They had a guardian. They, gotcha. they, they just list her as Jane Doe. So uh, Tiffany had a spoke at like a kids rally, and I guess her friend had custody of the kids, right. and they was talking, and she was like, I think your kids would be perfect for this sketch with Aerie Spears. Why don't you come on down? When we shooting, here's my number. We'll book them and pay them, and they could be in the sketch. And the lady oh, this like, real life? Yeah, this real life. And the lady's like, all right, cool. This is back in 2008 or something like that. Mm. So they shoot the sketch, and in the sketch, one of the kids was supposed to be eating a sandwich, yeah. but, 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 but eating it like it was a Johnson. No, come on, bro. You understand what I'm saying? So they do the sketch, they put it out. Yeah. Um, they put Damn. it on Funny or Die. Uh -huh. um, Funny or Die sees the sketch after it's up for a while. They're like, hold on, this is kind of suspect. They yeah. take the sketch down. And then the lady who's the guardian of the two kids tries to sue. Back um, then? Ab or, Ab Ab so I think she tried to sue not immediately after, but a, probably like a couple years after. So she's been trying to sue uh, Ari Spears and uh, Tiffany Haddish for a while now, you know? Yeah. Uh, so basically, yeah. here's my thing, right? After the first sketch, she took the the younger child back a year later, and did another to shoot a re to shoot another one with the same type of connotation. Yeah. So my thing is this: I don't think that Ari Spears and Tiffany Haddish are child molesters. I don't think Not that, that was their intent. Nah, but I will say this: this this lady who's the guardian of these kids, if they're found guilty in any way, then the bitch who's taking care of these kids needs to be found, found guilty, guilty as, as, well. a, as an accessory. accessory yeah, I, I agree. Because I, I, my first thought come to mind as a father, 
Like y'all wasn't there while they was filming. Who the was shit. there? Right. Like you didn't see. You didn't you read know, the script, yeah, bitch. Yeah, you didn't. You right. didn't. Exactly. You just you let your go kid go on and blind. Yeah. You didn't right. ask what's that's going it. on. That's hey. fucking dumb. That's that R. Kelly shit that they was talking about. Yeah. Oh, we just sending our kid out for two months to go do some album shit. Like, why do you do that? And we got to be yeah. careful with these with with these sexual assault allegations because real men. And real women, we have no compassion in our hearts for child molesters and rapists. At all. At all. I want to start an island that we ship them all to. And we just let uh, bowers, who are people who are professional bow and arrow cats, and we just let them shit. do target practice yeah. and put it on YouTube. Put them in the tree. You put them in the tree. You can evade these arrows, my nigga. You see the frumpy one with the Whoa. target on his back? Well, man, $12, I'm going to kill this nigga. Bow. Yeah. Yeah. $12 kills on a child molester. Right. I have no compassion in my heart for sexual. I'm, I'm not gonna say sexual deviants, but but child molesters and rapists. But man. you also, I mean, if you look at it, it you know, as a writer, right? And I'm writing a sketch like that. You know, Tiffany Haddish and Eric Spears got to take some some responsibility for writing a sketch that's suspect like that, and even wanting to put some kids in it. Like you could do some grown people with that shit. You don't right. need kids if you bring the connotation of you know what I'm saying. Are they doing some Johnson work? Right, like right. come on, man. And then you put it out, and they take it down, and then you still want to do it some more. Another one. You want to do another one? Right. No, I was. On. I'm trying to oh, think bro. of uh, why it was even done in the first place. I mean, because he couldn't think of nothing. That shit you know, lame. sometimes niggas, they be trying to be funny. They don't know how to make funny out of just regular everyday shit. Right. Yeah. It's got to be a horse with a pink tail. Yeah, and you know what I mean? Oh, it's some magic I was, going I was trying to look at the phone like, how is this funny? Like, no, oh, it's not funny? funny at all. And yeah. you, can't, you can't take away the pedophile notion from, you know, the people that's doing it because... It's plenty of shit to talk about. Right, right, right. right it's yeah. plenty of, we, like, we writers, there's plenty of jokes that we can go and make fun of without kids right, having right. to look like they're doing some grown-up shit. Right. Yeah. You know, that, that's that's too much. You're taking it too far. This lady is an accessory. And for, yo, for those who don't understand what accessory means in crime, an accessory is someone who gives assistance to a perpetrator of a crime without directly committing the crime, sometimes without even being present. But mm. they just dropping the kids. I mean, come on. They just dropping the kids off and say, go on, hang out with Aries and them and shoot This something. lady might be a a, a pedophile <laughs> pimp. A pedophile pimp. Because, look, these kids ain't even her kids. But they was at a rally, though. She with, a pedophile with, broker, nigga. T but, <laughs> Tiffany Haddish was at a rally and recruiting at the rally. No, she was speaking to the kids. Like, you can make it out the hood. Right, right. And then... Was Matter trying fact, to do a favor, being nice to her homegirl, who was the guardian of these two kids. Okay. Like, hey, I, they want to be in Hollywood. I can help them out. I don't think Tiffany was trying to do no right. foul shit. No, nah, not at all. But it's two types of accessories that you got to realize, yeah. right? It's accessories after the fact, and there's accessories before the fact. And this lady is both. <laughs> before and after, nigga. Uh. You, let, you, you took the little motherfucker a year earlier. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And you let him eat a hoagie like it was a Johnson... For a sketch. Uh, then a year later, you bring the seven-year-old back. Another hoagie. Another hoagie, <laughs> bitch. So he was hoagie. You a hoagie ho, bitch. <laughs> so he was six You let these kids having hoagie <laughs> offs, bitch, and, and now oh, you want to no. sue? <laughs> so the same person that brought the kids to the, the same set motherfucker is, is trying to sue. Right. Can't be. It can't I hope she be. get caught oh. up, too. But look, bro. It can't be. She she kid hustling. These aren't her kids. She has custody of these kids. She well, has custody kind of somebody else's kid. Is she related to him in some way, like an auntie or something? So they they just describe her as Jane Doe. They're trying to protect her identity. Oh yeah, because somebody gonna get her because they know she wrong. Oh yeah, accessory is serious, man. There was a, a a a case, a recent case, of a dude whose father murdered his girlfriend. A father Riverside, murdered, I remember the that. father's girlfriend. He, he murdered his that. own girlfriend. So there was a man. He was just released from that, prison. Yeah. I forget his name. He was awarded eleven million dollars because he was dating this girl, and her ex husband killed her while he was dating her, but framed him for the murder. Right. And in the commission of the murder, he had his son drive the truck, the car with the body in it. Is this and another rel relative? He was an accessory. Yeah, you accessory. So what happened was they finally exonerated the boyfriend that was convicted of the crime through DNA evidence, and he was released, and they found his DNA, the son's DNA, and a cousin's DNA on a watch that was left at the crime scene. It happened in ninety eight. Stupid. And in twenty twenty, and basically they went to jail. He had no idea about the body. He was convicted as an accessory. That's so stupid. And so he was the driver of the truck. Just 
Uh, it's, also my, it's my truck. I'm driving. He was either a driver or one of the people involved in the transportation of the body, but everybody wasn't aware that there was a body in the car. Right. How are you not aware? Yeah. I mean, that shit if, it's, if it's your truck. I, I, I guess so. Let's think about nigga, it. Are Big you Jack. checking trunks? I mean, if Big Jack. Hey, hey Mars, when you get a nigga car, do you check in the truck? Let me, let me make sure you got a body. No, it ain't nigga, even I don't want to know if it's a body oh, in the no, car. No, no. He's no, saying I'm, like, I'm looking like, at, I, now I'm looking at it as, why are you not driving your own shit? No, right. he's saying. It's he, his daddy, nigga. He's, he's nah, saying. Nigga, he's oh, saying daddy. Your daddy going to be able to get you in the You going to pick your son up. Your son ain't going to check the trunk. Hey, if anybody can set you up, it's your father, nigga. Right, you going to check anything you say, nigga. Hey, dad, your I'm guard gonna be this. down around pop, nigga. If you ask no questions, nigga, it's my dad. It's my dad. I'm nigga. glad I don't have no dad. Nigga, Smitty wouldn't do no I'm shit like that. I'm glad no I don't got no weak ass no, dad. No, but I'm saying, even if he did it, I'd be in court lying like a mother. Smitty wouldn't do no shit like yeah, that. That's my father, Smitty. I know Smitty. He's a god fearing man. No, nigga, in my whole life, man. He, 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 he would do nothing like that. If he nah, kicked that, a nigga, he'd wake him up. That's, that's how good of a father I have. He wakes niggas up from the dead and apologize. Y'all just saw this boy, uh, this this, uh, this dude that was ex boyfriend, this girl knocking on the door. They caught it on the ring. No, oh me. bro, they like beating on beating on the him. door, try to go into people's house. The dad told him, yelling from the inside of the house, get away from the door. Right. Get away he from the door. Do he kept banging on the he door. Kept banging, tried to open it. Dad put three in him. Two, bum, two, bum, bum. Killed him. Nigga oh, he, ran. he was autistic. Nah, he wasn't autistic. He was oh. trying to get into his girlfriend. Okay. But she, she was, was his ex. She just jumped. Uh, she dumped him or something. He's trying to get back with her. But he tried oh, to man. force himself in the house. He's trying to bang. He's trying to bust through the door in the, oh. in the, on, the, on, the, on the patio. <laughs> he had that coming. And you hear somebody yelling like, oh, get away yeah, from the door. That. I saw another. I saw something like that the other day. It was an autistic black kid in Minnesota, and he went into the wrong backyard and couldn't get out. And they killed him. That's sad. He was he he wasn't auditory. He couldn't talk, so he yeah. big like us trying to say, hey, you know, and they just popped him. Wow, oh, like, that sucks. Yeah. Man. Can I ask one? Let me just go. Can we go back to the Tiffany Haddish? Real Let's quick? do it. I just want to ask: Was Tiffany Haddish there when they were shooting the sketch, or did she just did the reference and and she didn't she didn't she went there at all? I believe she was. I'm not letting Tiffany off of the hook, even though I like her. I know she ain't no pedophile, but she does have to pay for negligence, right? And they so, had to so, pay the so shit. whatever bread that she got to break. I say she should break it, but her lawyers are fighting this. Tooth and nail. Look, it's video evidence of this questionable shit going on. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I me, mean, she's on the set. She's is, she's in the sketch. It's, oh, she's in it. She's in the sketch. Like she's but now, nah, just come on, come on, John. We, no, 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 we can't no, give her no excuse. If she was you there. Know, you don't even know what I'm about to say. I did. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know excuse. Uh, I'm the one that said she's in the so I, did. I heard it in your throat before right. it came out of your mouth. And that ain't the shit that we going to be talking about. That. Keep that shit in I your mouth, she, nigga. <laughs> she, she in the sketch. Do, do, so do you think that there should be some files, um, some charges filed? No, no, I really do. I do, and personally, and I'm just talking from, from a father's point of view, I do because I'm a sketch writer. I'm a film writer also, and I understand if I was in a room with me and you and we had two kids, we would steer clear of anything that would be inappropriate for them kids. Right. We I would agree. think about it while we're doing like, no, we can't you, be making the kid look like they, you know what I'm saying, giving Johnson I to agree. somebody. I agree. So, so that's so. that's maturity. That's that's just come so from being so in So those it. people were in the sketch go to jail? They should go. Damn. In my know. opinion, I don't think they should go to jail because That's both crazy. of y'all. I mean, kids are kids are helpless. You understand right. that? Shit, no, they're they going to do. Yes, I mean, yes, they are. If I, you if you give somebody if somebody come in the room, just take Greg, if I, my two kids, my two youngs. Right. Yeah. If I say here, y'all go over there with Craig and do what he tell you to do. Right. Right. They not going to do nothing else but what you told them to do. Right. You see what I'm saying? They not going to be trying to think of objection like, nah, I don't really want to do that. That's right. too much. That might make me look like this. So now you got a kid who doesn't have an understanding of what maturity is, and then you're manipulating them to do something that's mature. That's that that's wrong. Period. I don't care who you are. That's wrong. And then if you stand there and don't and see the shit, and then you don't say, nah, nah, my nigga, these kids don't need to be doing that. Then you wrong. You an accessory. Right. Period. So you you, both of y'all need to go. Hey, man, if y'all got an opinion on this, please Damn. call in. Again, it's 818-925-0723. Again, 818-925-0723. We would love to hear what you think about this particular issue. Call. Hey, you know that you know that shit means you a sex offender for the rest of your life. But, but, but Ja, for, for, think about it, though. If bro. you get caught pissing in public, you got to register as a sex offender. Come on. You yeah. pull your shit out. They have weaponized pissing. That's what I'm saying. Come on, man. Yeah, you, you think that. that's right, too? 
Right. Well, you taking like, pictures in went, public, you get now, caught. I, growing I, up, nigga, now, we used to piss everywhere. But but this we, we got a call. We got a call. We got a call. What we do? Let's get connected. Hey, caller, thank you for calling Craig Fax. What's your name? It's uh, D. Will. D. Will, man. What's up, D. Will? Pleasure to meet you, brother. You're on the Craig Fax Morning Show. Tell me, what, what do you think about the whole situation with, with Tiffany Haddish and Ari Spears? Man, first off, I just want to say Craig Fax, uh, big job. Been watching y'all for a long time. Y'all are awesome, man. Keep doing what you're doing. With this whole Tiffany Haddish situation and Ari Spears, I literally was on Twitter yesterday. And I saw that video, bro. That shit made me almost throw up in my mouth, bro. That shit was gross. People need to be charged, bro. I don't know who wrote it, who directed it, who greenlit it, who... It's just the whole production is just nasty, bro. That shit was gross, bro. Yeah. So that's all I got to say about that. That shit was absolutely fucking disgusting to me. Man, that is, yeah, man. I, that, that's too bad, man, that... uh. Yes, and I ain't even seen the video. And they go a caller to come in the scene, and you don't want to see it. And and it's disgusting to him, and he didn't watch it on Twitter. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And 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 you know, you just have to look. I mean, I'm just looking at it as a parent. Like that would be a real problem if you put out a piece of content and you had my kids. So you are saying that everybody involved with the sketch? If I'm just an actor, I didn't write this shit. I'm an actor. I don't know this motherfucker. Twelve. I think he could be a 29 year old uh, young looking motherfucker like Webster. I don't know. I'm just on set playing my role. You saying that person is an accessory? Yeah, that's the person is accessory. Because I'm gonna be honest, man. That little that little kid looked like a little kid, and he was in whitey tidy with his legs up and and wow. oil being dripped on his back and shit. Like, come on, bro. Come on, Craig. Oh wow. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Come um, on, bro. I seen the edited that's version, wild. and it was like pieced together. I never watched the full sketch, and I didn't even watch it with the sound up. I watched it. Um, like with the sound off, and they had a puppy dog face over everything to blur out the shit. So I don't really, I didn't really real. see yeah. the graphic version of it, and I didn't watch the whole thing. It was, I looked at it like this shit goofy. I turned it off, so I didn't even before I pass judgment and go back and forth with you about yeah. niggas going to jail and shit. I would have to watch the whole thing. Yeah, I, I gotta watch so, it, man, because I have no. I'm you gotta telling, watch it. Well, bro. I got uh, my it's only rough. thing is, my only thing oh. as actors, we could turn down jobs, right. It's not like you have to take oh, yeah. that job. If you're a producer you know, and you produce anything like this, don't call me, nigga. I'll probably do something. Right. Too. You see what I'm if saying? If you hit me like these your lines, like little Bobby, what, nigga, I'm going yeah, to have a problem. I'm yeah. smacking your mouth. Next bro. caller. Thanks to, um, thanks for calling in, brother. Yeah, brother. Thank you. I mean, that's just that's just the, the truth that you can't really get around that. No, you, know you can't. Saying? You can't, man. You know, and I, I mean, I think. Me and Ja, and you, and you also, Craig, as actors, we have to look at it objectively. We we don't have no choice. Yeah, I mean that's that's the only way we could you know look at this art com- is uncomfortable sometimes. I mean yeah. they got slave movies. There's nothing worse than slavery. Let me know. Shit, pedophilia. <laughs> I don't think that's worse than slavery. Ooh. Hey, thank you for calling, Craig. Facts. Your name. Hey y'all, I'm Jackie. Hey, Jackie, how you doing? What's happening, Jackie? Go ahead and chime in. What you think about the whole Ari Spears and Tiffany had a situation? I I think that it was wrong. I watched the video, and it reminded me of, like, some type of child pornography. Wow. Like, if my son was in it, they had him in his underwear with his legs open. I think they need to take it down. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. It shouldn't be anywhere. Because somebody that's weird, the perverts, they will use that, had a saved net computer somewhere. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. I didn't know. I still haven't seen it. I'm going to have to see it. To see it's what's really going on. That's wild. It's looking like I'm going to have to dope fiend Eric Spears <laughs> when I... <laughs> <laughs> I dope fiend a nigga. If I know he a child molester, <laughs> it ain't no fair fight. I, 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 I don't think that, uh, that neither one of them are child molesters. I think that they, they did a dope a dumbass sketch in bad taste, and it was disgusting based on what I'm hearing from the, the callers and from what I've seen, the centered version that I've seen. I don't think that... Neither one of them are, are, are child okay. molesters or pedophiles or deviants, nothing like that. I think that um, they made a, a bad choice. Okay. Sometimes comedians, we we run the we run with that that thing like everything is on the table because we comedians is you know saying don't censor us. We find uh, you know comedic comedic freedom to, to do and say what you want. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People say racist jokes all the time in the sake of comedy. 
they say all kind of shit that's offensive to everybody and to whoever are different pe- people, and it's and it's for the sake of comedy. So I think these but two they people. Protect the kids, though. I agree. I, I totally agree. They had I, the kids out on YouTube like that because I would cry if I seen my son on there and it's drawing. I'm off, doing something to somebody. Open, I mean, so, I also wouldn't crazy. see. That's I, all. Yeah, but but it, I mean, and I do understand what you're saying, Jai, because the art is subjective in comedy. Because we can push the issue where, as as a film writer, I have to scale back on the film. Right. But on comedy, I can just be wide open and do crazy shit. A lot of shit. comedians do right. that but, shit. But you also, you know, I mean, just to a baby girl point, just on the thing, you got kids involved. That's you draw the line. And I you got to just line draw it right there. And I don't. maybe they're not a pedophile as far as touching on the kids. But exploitation is, you know, they talked about slavery. And uh, this lady made a great point that people that were standing around, it was kids standing around this black man getting hung. And right. everybody was affected. That's what I'm this saying. This kid that was standing right there next to this black man being hung is affected also, right. whether they know it or not, and right. that's passed down to think that that's okay. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? So when you put kids in situations like that, they, they think that's okay, then they'll carry that to their society. Just think about them kids, however, nine, six, seven, and then they go to somebody else's house and they spending the night and they doing the shit that they learned on Airy Spirit and then they get beat up or whooped or something. Right. And they're like, well, they taught me this. They thought it was okay. It's funny so, too. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I agree. Wow. Yeah, man. I think the, the parents are an accessory. We're going to go to another call. Thank you for calling. Yeah, parents, I mean, this this lady needs to be held accountable. Yeah, she needs to be really held accountable. Yeah, I mean, that that's the only way I can put but it. But did she get paid, though? Let's, well, let's talk about well, that. Well, she's been trying to sue for years. So ever since Tiffany had this kind of. Got another call? Hey. Yeah. Hello? 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 Hey, what's up? Thank you for calling Craig Fax. Your name? Lisa, I'm a father. You said it's what? What's your name again? Ace. Ace, what's going yeah, on, Ace? What's going on, Ace? Ace. Pleasure to meet hey, you, man. Hey, Go ahead and chime oh, yeah, in. Man, I called in before, man. All right, uh, word. I was going to say, though, with, with Big Ja, I kind of disagree with what he said. Okay, what do you disagree uh, I understand with? understand he said that they weren't pedophiles, right? Right, All right. I saw the sketch, and they're zooming in on a kid in underwears, and it's just it's odd. The nigga got into the tub with the child. Wow. Okay. So what? I, my question to Big Job oh is this: I, I love Big Job. You said a nigga got in the tub <laughs> with the <laughs> baby. I didn't know that. My oh, nigga. blood! It's we got to do something. Oh, nigga. No, 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 no. He's dressing. He's dressing. Big Job. What's up, bro? Hey, would you play a pedophile as an actor? Absolutely not, brother. Ever. Okay. So what I'm saying is, like, when you see this sketch, like, you would never want to put yourself in that, like, put that in your psyche. Right. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, Aerie Spears is a weirdo cut from another cloth, bro. And that's all I got to say. Like, they're both should be accountable, sued, whatever, canceled. We we can't have that. Yeah. We can't okay. have rumors. I yeah. agree. Hey, right, and, and like, I haven't seen the whole thing. So, you, uh, yeah. yeah, when you see it, bro, oh. it, it's disgusting, tasteless, and unexplainable. There's nothing that can, it, you can't hide behind the guise of satire. And comedy when it comes to kids, bro. I agree. At all. I agree. As yeah. soon as I would have saw right. get the bathtub, appreciate you, brother. brother. Appreciate Thank you, man. You. Yes, sir. Right. Yeah, because like, I have never, parent, I've never seen the. I, I seen the video. I just right. seen a part where he was looking through like a newspaper, but I never. And then every time, every every time they showed the kid, it was always like a picture over the child, so I couldn't even see what what they were looking, what they Is were it showing. Any way so for us to get I, the video up, I never seen. So I yeah. don't want to see it. <laughs> I don't right. want to see. It bum, uh, bum, bum. The DJ so, quick remix. But you also have to think about for them to for somebody to bring litigation to the situation, it has to be serious. It had to be looked at deeply to find out if there's a real claim here to for a pedophile or were they out of control. So that's the only way that you could really bring some litigation to the situation. And it has to be serious because they own there. We got a caller. Hey, thank you for calling Craig Facts. Your name? If you can hear me, man, you went in and out. Talk, say it again, brother. Hey, man, it's hot water real. Hot water. What's going on what's with up, you, fam? Real? Hot water Talk to real. us. Chime in on the, on the uh, Tiffany Haddish and uh, Aries Spears situation. Hey, I just I totally agree with uh, everything y'all said, especially with uh, Jay Horns when he was talking about uh, kids later on can be affected. I got seven kids. I mean, I just don't like. I'm I'm a big fan of all comedians. 
especially the ones that's real funny, like yourself, Craig and Jay Horn and um, you, man. Ja. You know, thank you, I'm a truck driver, so you know I think about my kids every day. So that kind of affect the art when they produce something that's new and to somebody that's just getting to know them. Right, right, right. yeah, right. That's Mark. right. You're exactly right. Seven kids, man. Congratulations on that. Okay. Hey, Craig, man. Oh, yes, sir. I'm a big, I'm a big fan of you, man. I, I've been driving all over the world, man. I've been just, you know, just it's an honor right now to talk to you.